interested in 3D printing? In this video, we discuss the basics. 3D printing, as most people know it, is simply an additive manufacturing technology, which means you have some sort of material, in our case it's a PLA plastic, and it builds some sort of part or whatever your design is in layers. So it starts at the very bottom layer and then lays it down, and then it keeps building layer on layer on layer on layer until you have a finished part. The library has the MakerBot Replicator 2. It's a very fancy, super advanced, single extruder printer. You have the abilities to go ahead and design your own parts, things like that. There's a ton of different softwares that you can use for that. The, the Autodesk software like Inventor or Maya, things like that would be a good place to start for 3D modeling. But if you're not at that level, there's also Tinkercad where you can do simple part design. Or if you're not at that level, you can go to Thingiverse and download pre-made designs, things like that. But once you actually have a design, you need to run it through MakerWare, which comes with the MakerBot which actually creates all the instructions that the printer needs to print your part. So after you create the design and you have everything finalized, you need to export it from whichever software you're using, so either Tinkercad or Inventor or wherever, and then import it into MakerWare. And from MakerWare, you have to export it yet again to a special type of file that contains all the instructions for the printer. So it'll tell, tell the printer like how thick the layer it should be when it's printing the object, how many um, like shells are in an object, so it doesn't print solid objects, it prints hollow things with like um, hexagons. So you can tell it how many hexagons to use, things like that. But you export that file and put it on an SD card, and then you can put the SD card into the printer and print from there. They can take anywhere from 15 minutes to 20 hours. It really depends on the part, it depends on how, how dense the part is, how complicated the part is, things like that. And you also have um, resolution settings on the printer, so you can print things sort of quick and sloppy with uh, thicker layers. You can print things with high resolution and really thin layers if you have lots of detail work that you need to get done. The most complex item I've ever printed was a, uh, a fairly accurate representation of a human heart that I did for a project in the spring. Yeah. It did not work the first time. The heart was too big and the printer, it failed, which happens a lot with 3D printing. But the second time I tweaked it a little bit and it did work, it came out nice. So you really have to think about the design and just think about the process that's going into this so that you make parts that will print successfully. 